Okay, the way I am playing this, I have the capo on the fourth fret. And uh, I start off with this little rhythm figure here. Okay, that's just like the recording that Paul Simon does. But then I add uh, a different uh, bass line here. So I go like this. to the melody. I'm adding the E in the bass there.
hopefully you got it there. It's pretty, pretty easy there. Just follow the melody. Okay, uh, I'm using an F chord and then that open B. Okay, there's that C chord with the E in the bass. I kind of like that. A little bit different. Okay, so then what we do after that, we play the melody an octave higher. chord basically I mean it's an A chord with the capo on with the E in the bass but uh, think of it as this as the nut and then it'll be an F chord it's kind of tricky there that's probably the toughest chord in the song back to the C formation Seven, even though originally it would be a, an F chord, but I just can't get up high enough to get this F chord with the capo on. Now, without the capo on, you could certainly do it and play it, uh, your A minor in open position. But I seen Paul Simon do this tune in uh, in this key here on the fourth fret. I kind of liked it, so I just kind of arranged it around that. Okay. So anyway, let's get back into this. Uh... I kind of really like that. I stumbled upon that. Okay, originally that would be a C chord. But I kind of uh, arranged it this way. Let me see where I'm at. to the C. I play that uh, G slash B A minor. G. Now on this I I add the G sharp with the B on the, s the second string B. Something that I kind of heard, so I took the ball and I ran with it. All right, so that's really about it. I don't know what else there is to explain in this song. Uh, like I say, the toughest part is uh, this part. there well, I know one other thing I can explain I'm sorry uh, when I go into the Chet Atkins type of feel Basically, this is what I've been doing for years, is applying this Chet Atkins Travis style picking to 
these tunes, these popular tunes. So I've given you plenty of material with the Guitar Journey book, uh, mainly the right hand finger picking exercises and how to finger pick like the best, which is a book on um, Amazon.com right now. So with all of that material, you can just apply that, those patterns to these chords, okay? So let me just run through that again. And I'm alternating bass. here it is a little thin so you can't really do a whole lot of alternating bass on this uh let's see where I'm at okay so there's your bass note so it's thin but it's airy it breathes it's emotional and I kind of like that there. So I hope you do too. But you can come here on that full E minor. take on it. Hope you enjoyed it.